Good day guys. This is Rinkesh Patel and welcome to my YouTube channel of Design Tutorial and it is the fourth part of sketch. Right now I am uh, editing a sketch and in this tutorial we will learn how to use this polygon, ellipse and uh, conic command. Only three command in this tutorial. Yes. Uh, so uh, first what we have to do is taking sketch and sketching a sketch obviously <laughs> so here we done sketching and then polygon select polygon or uh, the shortcut of polygon is P basically so uh, we are selecting polygon and uh, now there is three options uh, center point sides and uh, number of sides and uh, size in size there are three in, uh, incidents uh, inscribed right at the radius so, uh, circums, uh, circumscribed radius and uh, side length ok so uh, first we will use inscript radius and uh, we are giving first point of the polygon and then rotation 0 shift tab radius and uh, radius 20 sorry ok and now we done here I am deselect these options so you can see that uh, this is the distance between uh, this 20 mm is this one distance between the center point of polygon and the one of its uh, one of its uh, sides uh, the perpendicular uh, distance between points and one of its sides ok now we are uh, taking polygon again and uh, we are using circumscript radius and uh, specify point first point we are putting here and the second point at rot uh, rotation 0 and uh, radius 20 ok now you can see that so now you can see that the distance of 20 mm is between center point and one of its vertex or you can say corner ok so this is the difference between these two these two difference method or these two incidents now we are using third options is side length here uh, the polygon will make according to its side length so we are uh, selecting rotation 360 or you can say 0 and uh, you can see that the 20 mm is the distance of or uh, the length of side this side ok every side will be 20 mm so now there are uh, many options number of sides you can select number of sides by entering uh, suppose I am entering 3 and uh, specify the middle point and then it will generate a triangle ok if I am entering here 6 or uh, 5 then it will make a pentagon obviously so guys this is how polygon works i hope you enjoyed now the next command is ellipse i am deleting this all the things and uh, here we are gonna using ellipse everyone knows ellipse has two radius basically uh, minor radius and major radius there are many options more than minor radius and uh, major radius is limits limits uh, the default limits is closed basically and the rotational uh, rotation ok I am uh, I will teach you how to use limits command uh, limit sub command and rotation sub command so first of all we have to create one ellipse we are gonna use a point and uh, then the measure diameter 
major radius is 20 mm and the minor radius is 10 mm so the ellipse will generate it and uh, rotation rotation if i am giving 10 degree then you can say that this is the tilted uh, this will make ellipse tilted and uh, here goes 60 degree then you uh, you can see that the ellipse will move along axis so we are using zero and then limits closed if i deselect this closed limit then the new window or a new sub command is open uh, start angle and end angle and complement okay i am giving start angle is 60 degree and the end angle is 280 degree so you can say that uh, you can you can see that the start angle is uh, uh, start angle will from 60 degree i mean uh, ellipse will start from 60 degree and close uh, close at 280 degree and the complement will make it opposite side okay i hope you will understand and you enjoyed so i am deleting these also okay. and the next command is uh, conic yeah. i don't know if you guys are aware of conic or not but uh, i will give you some introduction about conic conic is basically the shape of aerodynamic uh, shape i mean uh, the sub shape of aerodynamic uh, shape and uh, uh, i think you you had learned in uh, foa subject uh, find fundamental of aerodynamic subject okay so let's start there are three options limits control and rho basically rho is the value of mag angle or uh, you can say that the uh, intensity of its curvature specify first point i am specifying the first point and the end point and control point control point point will adjust its shape and i am giving third point here so you can see that the curvature is automatically generated now you can change the value by inserting 0 0.1 and uh, 0 0.9 so it will not accept one value you must be greater than a value must be greater than 1.00 10 raised to e and uh, lesser than 0 0.999 okay so we have to use 0 0.1 so by uh, entering the value 0 0.1 it will generate a smooth curve or uh, approximate 0 uh, 0 angle 0 kind of angle or uh, you can say that uh, smooth curve and if you are using 0 0.999 then it will generate a very sharp curve okay you can see by zooming it and uh, if you are decreasing 0 0.1 7 then it will smoother than 0 0.9 0 0.6 smoother than 0 0.9 0 0.5 smoother than 0 0.6 this is the basic value of curvature and uh, here is the review okay guys so i i hope you enjoyed it and uh, if you like my youtube channels so i hope you will subscribe and uh, like also my youtube channel okay Thank you guys, thank you very much and if you have any queries just comment on it and uh, I will make sure to reply. Thank you.